right to one acre. But you're hell bent on exterminating us. What do you think 200 million of us can do? Must do. To preserve our own survival. On what? We were here first, dude. Just, just like... I mean, the natives are homo sapiens, too, by and large. And, you know, they were... They learned the hard way. Like I said, we started to come up 8,000 years ago when the place thawed out. And when we found you, and okay, well, let's deal with it. They're here, we're here, everybody gets a piece. And you fucking rose up and you slaughtered us and you, and you eat us. And stole what we had. And you used it to subjugate your people. Like that. The uh, Egyptian mind broadcasting electric microwave uh, receptor thing. It also worked like Wi-Fi and it could make a hologram and you know like show you a picture of Mars or Tiamat or or whatever. You know. Three dimensional hologram and yeah. And you could use it as a like a megaphone to broadcast to everyone and you used it to enslave and you turn it into receptors and stole our headgear and whatnot. Like you're six 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 species, you're young, you're babies. You were only mutated eight thousand years ago and and I understand that. I got no arms, I got two arms left, and that's it. And I, I don't know if I can survive extending them out to you to shake hands. You, you chopped them all off. Like, what the fuck? Do I have to go blue with rage? Okay, okay, I'm just joking there. <laughs> or am I? Peace out. Oh, did I catch this guy's name? I better check under more information. So I wish you guys would do a better job because this is all about keeping the lines of communication open. Uh, well, it says, uh, says the 24 year old man no, no that's an infomercial for a half and half iced tea no he didn't he didn't put no contact information so I could get this wisdom this peace offering back to him so he would uh, know how to better keep the peace but hopefully I mean and I've been blocked from your YouTube channel a long time ago for speaking too much um so I don't know how to get him a link to this little bit of wisdom so he can deal with this and he can instruct the courts to instruct uh, the hired thugs to how to keep the peace better. All right? Adam, I would, I will send a request and if the solar weather is such that uh, one of the uh, Chicken Little Zigs can get down there and um, take pictures of you, you guys doing your uh, peaceful and um, protected walk with your um, dechambered uh, weapons. Yeah, he'll be there to photograph the event on July the twenty or July the fourth. Yeah, like I say, pending the greater peace. That must be served. Not that they can really do much. I've already told you in previous videos. So I can't even put a comment there.
ads the Alex Jones channel for you. And I know that you know that whether I was auto blocked or not, because they, they do that, they go in and they hack into your account and then they block everybody and they do whatever to discontinue communication. I know that you know that I know that you know that I'm blocked and well whatever okay you got your reasons it's your fucking channel fine stick freedom of speech up your ass if, if that's what you got to do in, in, in example to everyone else that you're all, that I'm only going to say the things that please you and don't offend some of the shell bots because they're your customers too and they contribute so much more to your channel than I ever possibly have well, okay, that's probably an embellishment, but but the fact is, is I'm not the only one that contributed our hearts away, and not just on this YouTube channel, you know. I had wondered, like uh, Sherry Lee, there, my buddy in Toronto. I know she contributed an awful lot on the YouTube channel, as well as your. Uh, Infowar site that I got banned from a long fucking time ago, along with a lot of other good people. Which, it's your property, that's fine. I'm just criticizing you over it. Uh, I'm not saying you gotta fucking let us comment or whatever. I'm just saying that's a piss poor fucking example. You cut off the wisest ones from your view, like what? Were you afraid we were gonna say our common sense before you could capitalize on it? I mean, Get your head out of your ass, boys. Ain't nothing good about that. It's lots very old about that. So, what do you want? Well, the only thing that can come out of the ground is, is for my people, apparently, is the dead vapors and whatever technology you couldn't still blow up. Very cruel, wicked, wicked, wicked race. Homo sapiens. And I just prayed a dog. That, uh, that Chicken Little has the love and the patience. To come to a peaceful remedy with your creators, the, the Dogon, that GMO'd you from a little bit of remnants of ours that, that, that they found on the earth and, I don't know, GMO'd you in the reactor with, I don't know, well, I, don't, I don't know where they got this from. Where they induced this defect, and like I said, whatever ash, whatever remnants that can get carted away and buried on the surface from all that toxic cosmic storm, were highly mutated generation after generation and mutated. So I just hope that Chicken Little does a slow investigation, and and my findings make it to him before he deems. Your creators is unworthy and a danger to galactic peace and wipes you out. Like that little brown recluse spider I just had to kill. Because I wasn't capable of evicting him to outside where he could live in peace. Go guys.
make your peace with like, states. There's no secret that the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the American President Barack Obama do not like each other. And obviously Netanyahu is going to look around and search for new partners, one of whom could easily become China. If you take note of how China is right. getting more and more powerful, of how the world is becoming more multipolar, then it is clear that there is no room for ignoring Go on my channel. Power, such as China. Put all if the pieces the together. Crisis, you know, where do countries go in terms of asking for help? China. I couldn't tell you anything because you're such killers that you didn't already go, know. But I could assemble what you already now, know Netanyahu and is in China at a think of what you need to know to, in terms to try and give yourselves a chance. Many people and whatever life you haven't his trip yet to go there. And in fact, what role the recent destroy the soul of on my earth will have in terms of the agenda that is being addressed there. China has always had abominations that made such a desolation. And it has always been on the side of negotiation. Which I guess because you got your hands on our technology and from our either side genes, of the I guess we're part So reliable. it'll be interesting to see what comes out of, if anything, Israeli-Chinese discussions over the situation in Syria. Correspondent Paula Slim right there. And while Israel is under no illusion that it can persuade Beijing to abandon Palestine's cause, there are plenty of other opportunities for it. That's according to Professor Steve Tsang, the director of the China Policy Institute at the University of Nottingham. I don't think Netanyahu has any illusions in terms of being able to persuade China on matters over Syria or Iran. The differences in what the Chinese government would be willing to accept and what the Israeli government would like to do on, on those matters are just far too wide. There are plenty of other relationships between Israel so and China that so ugly in those they monkey can easily suits. develop and promote and enhance. Um, but then, of course, on this occasion, the visit is not purely that, bilateral because the section. Chinese have clearly also arranged for others to be trying to say it's spring. And that, of course, also reflects the Chinese desire has gone way too far in this China land. is first and foremost Peace out, y'all. Use your brains and keep the peace. Without it, you've got nothing. Over.